Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse, and I want to show you this 1966 Mustang convertible I bought. I bought it from a man down south of here, about 40 miles, and he'd owned this car 46 years. Now, that's a long time to own a car. It's got 69,000 original miles on it. It's been well-maintained and the original interior in it. It's been repainted. It wasn't the best paint job, but it, you know, it looks good. I mean, if you're looking at it right now, I think you'll think it looks good. But if you get real close down and see it, you'll, you'll tell that it isn't as good as we'd like. But you'll be really happy the way this car runs and drives. He took good care of it that way. Uh, it, just, it just drives really good. It's got power disc brakes on the front. It's got power steering, and the, and the brakes are split also. So, I mean, it's set up to, to drive. Now, I got to tell you, I look at this side here, just like the rest of the car, it all looks real good. You get this under the lights inside, and you can see some uh, dirt in the paint and a couple of spots and everything else. But for a driver quality car, it looks just fine. I mean, there's not a bunch of chips or anything else in it. Uh, the door is open and closed good. As you can see, I mean, everything works good on this car. Uh, everything looks great. I see a spot right here. That's, uh, that's where the, uh, some, at one time or another, the spring in there was gone and, and that latch will come out and that's what happens when those springs break. So that's been replaced. But everything else here looks real good. I, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. The windows again on this side work just great, just like they're supposed to. And same with the rear window. It goes up and down just fine, just like you want it to. I'm sure this is the original bumper on here. It's got a little tarnish on it, but not very much. It looks fine. It does miss, there's a little spot right there where it's missing some chrome. All this balance underneath here, the bumper guards look good. Uh, the grill looks good across here. Everything looks good. Uh, there's a chip in the paint right there. Everything else looks pretty good along here. Everything just looks fine. I saw a spot right back in here somewhere. There's a little spot right there in the hood. Other than that, everything else looks real good. I'm going to show you the lights working here. See the windshield washers work and everything. They're all set. This side looks real good. And you, these tires are brand new, and of course we got the wire hubcaps on here with a spinner to knock off. And uh, I see we got some blue fluid right here. That's from Andrew when he uh, showed you how the windshield washers work. They work well. Everything looks good and solid. You know, a lot of times you'll get some bubbling right in there, and it, it doesn't have any of that. Uh, I like, everything looks good. These doors uh, open and close good, as you can see. Everything looks good. I, well, that's just a little spot right there. Took off. Everything looks just fine. The windows work good in this car. The same with the rear window here. It works good. Just like you'd like them. Come up here with a camera so you can see this. I don't know if you can see how clean and nice this is along here. The back end looks great. Uh, you know, it's just, it's not a show car, so it looks good. We got the backup lights and stuff, and I see a stain here, right? It's in the reflection in the bumper, so it's up underneath there. Probably from gas running down underneath here over the years. But overall, looks just fine. Let's check out the trunk on this car. And as you can see, it's clean in here. We have a jack. And the jack uh, handle or lug wrench. We have a spare tire. It's an old spare tire. It's a bias ply, but it'll work uh, to get you by until you get to the, get 
tire fix. Of course, you got to remember you got brand new tires on here, so you probably were not going to have much problem that way. I wouldn't think. The other thing I like to look at on a Mustang is right over here. I always pull this back. I'm sure Andrew put this piece in here because a lot of times these are missing, so I always put them in. But I always like to look around this rubber plug right here. And because these usually are gone, they'll be welded in or so if there is a lot of rust in the car. And this is this one's great shape. Everything looks good and solid here. It's got the heavy duty rubber mat, which I really like. Most of the, you got those flimsy ones in. It's really clean underneath here. I don't know. Can you see how clean this is? Seeing that? So, I mean, it's this is a nice, nice little Mustang convertible. Driver quality. Now I want to show you how the top. Now this is a manual top, and don't be afraid of a manual top because they work just fine. There's nothing to them. Take the tonneau cover off. We have a little latch right there we have to release. And uh, then we go over to the other side and do the same exact thing. And just undo the snaps. Get the tonneau cover out of the way. And again, this release right there. And then this top will come right on up, just like you'd want it to. Raise it part way on one side, the other side, and it's and it's spring loaded on top of that to help you with it. So it 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 works pretty easy. And then it just it's just a matter of uh, getting in and and open up the clamps. I always shut them. So you open these clamps up, bring this top down. And you got to do the same on the other side. I just want to show you how it works. And you just reverse the process. And, it, and the other part of it, when you got a, a, a soft top with a, the, or a power top, when you put it up, I always get to this point, and I always come back here and have to work on the, the rear window because I don't want it to uh, it crease in it. This particular one has a glass window in it. So you don't even have that problem. Just push that down, the latches. And push this side down. And there you go, that's putting the top up and down. Now I wanna, this thing had a little bit of rust spots in it, so I wanna go over with a Bondo checker so you can see. And there's a spot right here coming up and we already know that the, it's been filled in on the bottom of the rocker here. So you can see we're up to an eighth of an inch there. And that one spot that's got a little fill in it. Now this panel is, is real good. See there's nothing in there. The driver's door is also real good. Sometimes I'll rock this and it'll, the blue light will come on, but hopefully I don't do it. As you can see, it's all good. Now, this panel has, right there is a little bit. And you can see it'll disappear there. And down on this other end of the panel, we have a little bit. But it's not very thick, just a little bit there. And as you can see, this panel is all real good. As you can see, this panel is good too. Now this panel is good. Now this door is good. Now, as you can see, we got some Bondo in here, and that could be from a dent, because this is not an area that rusts. And you can see here on this panel here, there's a little spot right there in the very front, and there's a little bit right there. And we're good again. Just so you know, you can see that this is all good in here. Oop, there's a little, well, I could have rocked it. You see, all I have to do is rock it a little bit. And sometimes I get the blue light because I rock it. So maybe may some blue that shows up.
but you can see it's all good. We should have some down here because again we've this bottom part where the uh, is filled in the drain vent is not there. See, there's there is some in there, and it's cleaned up again. What we don't want is to go way over here where it's really thick. I mean, there's always a little bit of Bondo used. Now, as you can see, the carpets on here have been replaced because they're too new. This is really, really good looking. The carpet law looks new. We did not do that. This is the way we bought it. You can see the dash pad. I know it's original. I can just tell because it doesn't, it's old, but it's in great shape. The dash is all good all the way across the glove box. Steering wheel is in good shape. These seats, now you take a look at these seats in here and, and look at them. These are original seats in here. This is, uh, you know, faded out on both the front and rear here a bit. But you remember, this car has only got 69,000 original miles on it. Basically a one owner car. And so, you know, I mean, it's in, it's in great shape, as you can see. Now, the other feature on here, we have seat belts. This, they, didn't, they weren't required, but it's got seat belts in the front and in the rear. And we got this big console in here, so you can put cup holder and everything. Everything looks good. Door panels look great on both sides. Show them that door panel over there, Andrew. As you can see, it's, it's all in great shape. This is a nice car. It's a driver quality car. Now we showed you the wipers and things working. Let's check the heater out. I don't know if you can hear that blowing or not, but it is blowing. And I can feel the heat coming in on my leg right there. So the controls work good. That works really well. The radio works. Tweet. Original stock radio. Anyway, you can see that it works. I don't know about the wiper, or lighter. Let's see if it works. Hasn't popped out yet. I'm gonna pull it out anyway. Ow! <laughs> it works! <laughs> now, you can see the gauges are moving. Temp gauge. And the other thing I want to show you is it's 69,305 miles on it right now. I wanted to show you that there is a little uh, spotting on the top of the door panel here on the driver's side. I just want to point out a couple of chips in the uh, paint on this inner door panel on same as the driver's side. They've got a couple of chips in it. As you can see, we got a power booster right here and we got the, the split master cylinder on here so you got front and rear braking on here and you can see how clean it is it just is nothing fancy or anything else we got the power steering right here radiators clean nice look how nice and clean it is underneath here and everything I think you'll like the way this thing runs and drives it has an overflow uh, on it coming out of the radiator here so you got a little overflow tank which it works better and of course the washer bag right here for the windshield washers Battery looks uh, really clean and, and, and new, and I think, I think you'll find everything is in good order. Okay, I want to show you this, as you can see, it's not smoking, but when he snaps on it, it will smoke a little bit, and then after he quits doing it, it'll uh, settle down. You can see right there, now it's all cleared up and it's uh, not smoking. But I wanted to show you this, just so you know, and then you get the car and say, oh, it smokes. Well, it really doesn't smoke, because when you watch it go down the freeway, 
you won't see any smoke either. As you can see right here is the VIN number. It's correct and it's like it's supposed to be. The door tag is on here correct. Now this is not the VIN tag like most people think it is. This is a warranty tag. This gives you the color combinations and this car is all correct. It's a white car with a red interior. One of the first places I always look at on a, on a Mustang is right down in here because this is where the drain vent is and it's been filled in on this side and also on the other side and it just it rust is what it is because dirt falls down in here and it plugs up the drain vent and over time they'll rust out and it's not uncommon like I say it's one of the first things I do look for on a Mustang. Now I look at things you know there's a brand new uh, uh, fitting right there and this is all clean and looks painted and stuff and we have you can see we have one brand new muffler on here the other side he didn't replace but you know this this uh, car it looks to me like it's been well maintained as you'll see up front everything looks good underneath here the floor pans all look good both sides here all this back in here the frame back in here this all looks real good I did see some right in here I don't know if it's been patched or what it's just uh, it, it looks good and solid it looks just fine this all looks good across here everything's looking good anyway the bottom of the rockers look good they're clean they're nice the drain vents are in here like they should be I see a little bit of spotting right here I, it's like a little bit of corrosion everything looks good that way we get over here on this side so we have right in here there is some there is some corrosion right along here it's not real bad but it's there and again the drain vents on here on this the rockers all this is all real good everything looks good on here now there is some spotting in here where it's a little corrosive it isn't bad I mean it's good and solid but it's there I just want to point it out to you there's the bottom of your uh, C4 automatic transmission and it looks real clean so I it looks like it's been out of the car recently uh, I mean this whole piece here looks good this all looks good and solid the this piece here is all good and solid this is all good now I showed you this already right there it was a little crusty and all this looks good like I was telling you I, I sit here and I look at here and I see this is looks new and some of these pieces in here look new the A arms look new uh, and everything looks good on here and I see new rubber bushings up up front here so I, I would tell you I know and I talked to the gentleman and I know he maintained this car he'd like to keep it up good so uh, you got the bottom of your 289 right there you know it's not a show car or anything like that this is a driver quality car I think you'll be real happy with driving it has disc brakes on the front they are not a uh, Ford standard disc brake setup it's a a kit that's made to go on the Mustang and it's not so it's not a an original disc brake setup but you do have the disc brakes as you can see these are the rubbers I was just mentioning all this looks good and solid everywhere I don't see any signs of rust I'm looking at the uh, bottom of the sp spring support there it looks new too so I can just tell you that this car has had good care its whole life you a good view of the Mustang coming right at you so hopefully it looks good we're coming up onto I-5 right now heading northbound out of Seattle give you an idea how nice this thing runs and drives down the freeway I think you'll be real impressed with it It's a great, it's a great little car. I mean, it runs and drives great. It handles good. Uh, everything about it is really, it's, it's just a nice little car. It's not a show quality car. It's not perfect, but it'll give you a lot of good years. Mustangs are great cars. They got, they give you good mileage. They're really easy to get parts. You get parts for a Mustang anytime and in several places. I think Mustang is probably the easiest car to get parts for. I'll step on it so you get an idea how, how well this thing goes.
Now we'll give you a chance to see uh, the passenger side of this nice little Mustang. I'll step on it here for you. To enjoy watching this video uh, we really try to make sure you understand the car and get a chance to see how well they run and drive I'm coming in son of a bee I would tell you if you're looking for a classic car and you don't know what to buy and you want something that's reliable, easy to get parts and all that and an enjoyable car, easy to resell, you have to look at a Mustang. They're great cars, they build a lot of them, but you know, look at the prices. You know what? I don't care what they say, prices may be down right now, but I'll tell you what, all they're going to do is keep going up. Great little cars, you'll really enjoy owning one. Well, we're back at Drager's, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, freeway drive so you got a chance to see this car. And if you're at all interested, give us a call, 206-533-9600. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about this Mustang and any other Mustangs that we have in stock. On behalf of my father, Jerry, and myself, I hope you enjoyed our video and got a better feel for what this vehicle is all about and its overall condition. Thanks, Andrew and Woody. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video, and if you ever come to Seattle, we'd really like to have you come in and see Drager's Clubhouse. You can see some of the things we have here. We do motorcycles and, and all sorts of stuff, and we have a great time here. And Drager's Clubhouse is just one of those fun places. Everybody would like to have one like this. Drager's, 206-533-9600.